Welcome back. The time now is 5.15. From the return of Girl Scout cookies to an art hop in downtown Dayton, here are the five things you need to know for this day ahead. Idaho Senator Michael Crapo is due in court on driving while intoxicated charges. Police in Alexandria, Virginia arrested the senator December 23rd. They say he determined that they determined that he was driving under the influence after his vehicle ran a red light. Senator Crapo has apologized and says he takes full responsibility for the incident. We should learn more about the how the state's criminal investigation laboratory processes DNA. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine will hold a news conference in the day ahead with new information about the status of turnaround time for testing. Before he took office in 2011, each DNA case took four months to fully process. This morning at 10, DeWine will update us on how that process has become much more fast. And winter family days return to the Newport Aquarium. You get two free kids admissions with each adult ticket purchase. You get a chance to see fresh and saltwater fish, penguins, and more. Winter family days run through the 28th of next month. And don't let those cold temperatures frighten you from all that downtown Dayton has to offer. The first Friday art hop is today from 5 to 10. Food and drink discounts as well as the best music, art, and entertainment, including ice skating. All that the Gem City has to offer is all happening in the Oregon District. And it's one of our favorite times of the year in the newsroom. We're always hungry. The Girl Scouts begin selling cookies today. This year, two new additions to the product line, Double Dutch and Tag Along. And these are snack bars, folks. They're a little more expensive. They sell for $4 a box, 50 cents more than the regular cookie boxes. Those cookies, of course, are $3.50 a box. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories.